We are making progress. All of the new sets have been listed. Fantastic. I was able to break down the other box. And this is all the used stuff that we're gonna start working on now. Obviously, you can probably hear it in my voice, still recovering from whatever it is my kid brought home, but feeling optimistic. Uh, we got 17 packages going out of here, most of it Lego, which is like very exciting for my purposes, trying to go full-time Lego. Uh, so let's just get started. This stuff here is from the $2,000 buy. ATV race team. 76100 Royal Talon uh, and Beware the Vulture. So that's cool. And then I have it written down here. Also, the hover tank sold. I'll throw up a picture here. So once I have the fees and the shipping subtracted from those sales, we'll go back to this sheet and talk how we're doing. Uh, hopefully, we're under 1700 at this point. I think we are. This stuff right here, <laughs> oh boy. I was at Target and this was like four days ago, just trying to buy some milk. And I was like, I'm gonna walk by the clearance section. I saw all these Luigi sets uh, on sale for, I kept one of the ticket price, ticket things, $8.99 a piece. And I was like, I just spent $2,000 on a Lego collection. Do I really need this? And I'm so glad I did, because they all sold super quick. $35 each, free shipping. Uh, fantastic. So, just for easy math, let's say 10 into them. Um, let's say 25 all said and done. So we made $15 each. Pretty cool stuff. And because those all sold super quickly, um, that means this is paid off. I picked this up on the same day. This is for my own personal enjoyment. So I essentially got this for free. And then I still have these two Mario sets that were also on sale. One of them should still have the tag on it, 1049. So as soon as those sell, we'll definitely be in the profit on that Target purchase. So here's the Target receipt where I bought the Lego. Total came to 95.84. And all the Luigi stuff after fees, after shipping, ninety-two thirty. Pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. Those are all packed up and ready to go. So after Vulture, I was listening to something and accidentally added instead of subtracted. So $1,854.11 to go. After the Hover Tank, $1,817. After the Royal Talon, 1,778 and didn't quite make it below 1,700, but 1,753.28. Not bad. We are on our way. That is eight sales from 2125 all the way down to 17. Still have all of this to go except the Mario sets and all of that used stuff. Okay, now it's time for the non Lego stuff. Today is Martin Luther King Day, so um, I'm just getting it all packed up today. I gotta remember, remember where I put this. Just getting it all packed up today. So uh, all I have to do is walk it down to the post office tomorrow. Where did I put this? There we go. That thing, I just need to get rid of that thing. Um, I collected street sharks for a little while and then I had to put them away to make room for my Lego stuff and they've just been sitting in storage and I said they're not doing any good just sitting in storage I just need to sell it and then that one caught 50 bucks up here somebody got this paid a dollar for that so that's a good ROI right there and then the same buyer bought Bigfoot, nope, not that one. Bigfoot for the Wii. And then they bought two pounds of random Lego. So I highly suspect this is a viewer because it's two very different items going out to the same person. So if you are a viewer, thank you very much. If you're not a viewer, thank you very much. 
This is a cool book right here. I think I paid a dollar for this as well. It's this really cool pop-up book. And you would expect, I found this in a thrift store, like you would expect it to be all torn up. But it's in really good shape. Who's in here? Hello! Oh, that's oh, a little tear right there. Hope I got a good picture of that. But otherwise, exo grab these off camera just so I wouldn't break them. So Cubita cups. Didn't have much into those at all. Out of E. Here we go. Some Mega Blocks forts and stuff. It's a bunch of weapons. Out of A, this came out of a childhood collection. I used to be real into G.I. Joe, especially Sergeant Savage. There's Krieger. Where's the guy we're looking for? Here we go. Not a lot of money, but I got a bunch of stuff from my parents' house. Kept what I wanted to keep to share with my kid when he's old enough, and then had no attachment to this, so I just decided to post it. This last one is labeled B, but it's not in here. I highly suspect it is in one of those boxes. So let me, uh, I'm gonna pack that stuff up first and then we'll work on finding that. Here's the hero clicks. They were down in that drawer right there. And there's just a whole bunch of them. Some Street Fighter, some Marvel, uh, I should double check that I know that that is broken already. But there you go. Something I forgot to mention is the video where I bought this stuff uh, has earned $10 in ad revenue. So that just puts us a little bit closer. Okay, all packed up. Let's grab a couple used sets that I'm gonna post today. This one's just sitting right here, so let's go ahead and grab it. And that one, and we'll we'll record it all set up, each one. There's three, here is the Phantom. He's missing his hair, but I looked it up in my Brickling store. And it says I have, is that it right there? No. I think, I think this is the one. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. There we go, both pieces looking really good. A little dusty, I'll dust it off a little bit before I post it. Very nice, very nice. Manual looks really good. All of these will be posted in my eBay store today, so link down below if you're interested in picking them up. Here's the next one, nothing fancy. Goes for 15 to $20 looks like. Uh, my favorite part is the skunk. It's cool. Kind of sounds like a skunk, the noise it makes when you push it. Nice to have that done. I know 10 to 15 dollars is when all said and done is not a lot of money, but bad thing. Uh, when all said and done, it helps. Looks like this one's gonna need a little more TLC. That wasn't so bad at all. That was pretty easy. Okay, let's do this pizza truck. City pizza. I did not expect this to have two manuals. Oh well. Very easy setup. I just want to take a moment and appreciate the crystal being used for french fries. I think that's pretty ingenious right there. At least I assume that's french fries. Pizza and fries, is that a thing? 
It's fries. Original owner did a pretty good job with the stickers too. I'm impressed. It's a very cool truck. I like it. Okay, last one for today, and then I gotta focus on getting part outs done. I need to clean that PlayStation. I've been putting that off for a very long time. Got more part outs down there. The rest of the day is gonna be a brickling day, parting stuff out, getting stuff posted there. Um, drawers are getting full again already, so I need to buy more of those. And there we go. Excellent. I really enjoy the design of, the, of these minifigures. If you want to see the video where I bought all of this stuff, I highly recommend you check out this video. Thank you very much. I'll catch y'all next time.